Rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. It's us again. We're down here at Animal Services in San Luis Obispo. Uh, the holidays are over, and we didn't quite get everybody out uh, a home for the holidays, but we didn't do too badly. But we have a house full again, and we want to talk about them and tempt you to come down here and check out some of our sweeties. Before we get into our sweetie, we have Emery here, but he's going to be very patient. He loves to be on the lap, and he loves to be with his person. So right now, I'm his person, so he'll stay nicely for me. Deborah, we have great news. This new year is starting off great. North County Humane is offering microchipping for $1. $1. Did you hear $1? me? $1? $1. That's practically free. So what they want you to do is to bring your cat or your dog. Dogs welcome to North County Humane, which is a, a cat concern. Uh, cats and dogs, $1.00. Go anytime during their, um, the hours that they're open, and we'll have those hours up on the screen. They're in a Tascadero. I think a lot of people are familiar with North County Humane. And you'll get a microchip for $1, all registered and everything. That is way cheap. That and is way cheap. And they're going to keep doing it until they run out of microchips. But I talked to them up there, and they say they don't see how they could run out. Well, I think they had a nice benefactor who helped them do yes, that, right? They so did. Yes, they did that's have wonderful. a good benefactor. So let's help them run out of microchips. How about that idea? Some, there have been some pretty miraculous um, reunions of pets and their owners because of microchips. Really? So as you know, folks, we're all over putting IDs on pets. So that's the big spiel. It's $1.00. One dollar, okay? One dollar. Get that microchip, and nobody will be lost. All will be found and reunited with their owners. Now, this guy, Deborah, shouldn't he be reunited with his owner? He should, and if you adopt him, he will come with a microchip. That is part of our adoption That's fee, it. so he will have one. His name is Emery. He is an absolute doll. He's about five years old. He is the sweetest, most loving, most charming little tiny lap dog you could imagine. He never gets tired of the lap. He'll stay on your lap half hour, hour, whatever it is. He also does very nicely with other dogs, so if you already have other dogs at home, Emery is perfect. And he's house trained. More perfect. ID number 209-870. This is Emery. This is Bruno. He's a little bit shy. He's not loving being in the shelter so much. He likes other female dogs. In fact, he's hard to walk unless he's following another one of his girlfriends. But he is such a sweetheart. He's very house trained. Um, he so needs to get into a loving home. And Deborah, Bru half his adoption fee has been paid. That is right. That saves you more than 50 bucks. So come on in and take a look at Bruno, please. And he's beautiful. ID number 209-308. Bruno. This is a newcomer to the shelter. She just came in on the 11th of January. She's a scared little thing. We think she's about nine months old, so she's just a baby. Uh, she was found in Morro Bay at Pacific and King Street. So if you're missing your little tiny baby, she's down here waiting for you to find her. But if nobody comes for her in the next few days, she will be up for adoption. <laughs> oh, she's so sweet. So this darling's little girl, her number is 210004, and she is precious. This little girl is in foster with Greer, and he says she is just about a perfect dog. She's about seven years old. Maggie is loving, just an absolute love bug. She's good with a cat. She's good with other dogs. She's just all around well-behaved, and he thinks she would make a wonderful family pet. She's also, you know, protective to a degree. She's going to bark if someone's coming around your house and protect her family, but she, as long as she knows you're okay, she is just as friendly and loving as can be. If uh, you want to get in touch with somebody to talk to them about Maggie, then call the office and they'll get you in contact with Greer and you can think about adopting her. Her ID number is 209-688. This little uh, baby's only probably a year old. This is Remy and um, she's just an all around nice dog. She's, she's house trained, she likes to play fetch. Uh, she likes to go on walks. Her only issue, she's not so good with cats. She doesn't she didn't hurt them, but she, she'll chase them. So it's better that she goes to a home without cats. Very loving and very pretty. Remy's ID number is 209-247. Man, this is a great looking dog. He is just put together. He's about two years old. Um, he's only been here since the 7th of January. He was found in Paso, in Paso Robles, Silverado Place. Is just a really nice guy, so someone should be looking for him. He knows shake, he knows sit, 
very smart. And if nobody shows up in the next couple of days, we are going to name this guy Tug, mostly because I just like saying Tug. So that's a great name and a great dog. 209-973. He'll get you noticed. This beautiful little pocket-sized dog is named Honey. She is a good girl. She's a hard player, and she's a little on the alpha side, but if you find a good matchup with her, she will play and play and play until she just is absolutely worn out. Um, but she is on the alpha side, so, you know, not a dog park dog, but uh, definitely a great companion. Would be wonderful in an active home. She needs exercise. She really does. Her ID number is 208-986. Not so fast, Missy. She has half her adoption yeah, fee paid. I was going to say there's even better news. Yes, She's sir. Got, you'd save over 50 bucks if you um, adopt this girl. Look at those ears, too. Flying nun action going on there. 208-986. This is Honey. This is a beautiful dog. This is Brady, and he might have the best ears in the shelter right now. He's got some competition, but those are pretty good. Brady's about eight years old, which means he is eligible for the senior rebate, which means you get $35 back on his adoption. Uh, just a really nice all-around dog, likes to travel in the car, good on leash, just a really, really sweet, calm, easy presence. Brady's ID number is 209-709. And he was good with the office cat, too. That's, that's, that's a good thing. Oh, this is Russell, and we love this guy. He's just about two years old. He is the sweetest little thing. He's good with the other dogs. He's just an all-around nice guy. People think um, he's perplexed when they see the expression on his face, and he is, Deborah. Like, how did I wind up here what, anyway? I'm what am I doing in this joint? Get me out of here. Come on. Hey, good news on him. Somebody has paid half of his adoption fee as well. So wow. he, that saves you over $50, which is wonderful. And his ID number, 209-657. This is a sweetheart of a little dog. <laughs> Absolutely love this little dog. He came in last week terrified, and he's still nervous down here. He's got a nervous streak, but boy, once he knows you and likes you and trusts you, he is your best friend. I don't know, Deborah. Those ears are pretty awesome. I know. We have quite a contest going this week. Oh, he does have half of his adoption fee paid as well, so he's a bargain, but even without the money paid, he's a wonderful little dog. About seven years old, so that perfect age, well-behaved, lots of years left, very house-trained, and just super sweet. His ID number is 155433. This is Russell. Deborah, I think this is a case that uh, Priscilla came to us just in the nick of time. I think she's going to have a better life with us than she had where she was. Isn't that sad? It is sad. I mean, it, we, we treat our animals very, very well down here. But, you know, no animal should find a better life in a shelter than they found in their home. But we believe that is the case with this do dog. Priscilla is an absolute doll. We're going to get her the best home ever. We absolutely are, and she can't go to anyone who's not an A-plus home. She is gentle. She is calm. She is sweet. She just kind of hangs with other dogs. She doesn't really want to play, at least not at this point. Maybe she'll learn to want to play, but she'll just hang with them. She's just sweet. I don't know what else to call her, and Stan could probably vouch for me right now. She's also soft as velvet, too, mm. and she's a tiny little thing, you know, and just, you know, somebody scissored her ears off, and I just, that people think that makes a dog mean or look mean. There's nothing mean about this little girl. She's about three years old and an absolute sweetheart. And her. all we're going to do is look forward for her, Deborah. She's getting going to go to a much better place now. I, I would Personally, I would love to have this little girl. My house is full right now, but oh my goodness, this is a sweetheart. Just love her. ID number 209-935. Priscilla the Angel is up for adoption, and if you're an A-plus dog-owning home, you may come look at her. Oh, this little sweetheart uh, is a dog we call one of the three amigos. This one and Emery that you saw earlier and a dog you'll see later named Libby. They all came in together last week as strays. The sweetest little things. They were so scared when they came in, and now they are just so loving. They're all lap dogs. They're all adorable. Deborah, they can be all three on a lap at once, and they find their spots, and they just <laughs> stay there. They it's hysterical. It, they're just they're incredible little dogs. It'd be lovely to have them all go to the same home, but we know that probably won't happen. That's okay. One at a time into good homes is good enough. Willie's ID number is 209-869, and I don't know if you can see it, but he has got an underbite to die for. 
Here's a big, beautiful, gorgeous creature. Um, we're going to call him Austin. He was found in Atascadero about a week ago um, in early January, and he is a beautiful dog and very nice. Neutered male, about three years old, just really beautiful guy. His ID number is 209-926. This is Austin. Absolute shelter favorite here. We adore this dog. We've made him volunteers pick because we love him so much. Um, he came from a place where he was not treated very well, um, but absolutely the easiest going, nicest, loveliest, well-behaved dog you can imagine. Uh, Tiger deserves to have a really, really good home, and that's why we have chosen him as volunteers pick, because most of us would happily take him home in a heartbeat, and I certainly would. Tiger's ID number is 197393. If you want a sweet, gentle, easygoing, lovely dog that gets along with other dogs, come meet Tiger, please. And, and also volunteer's pick means half his adoption yes. fee has been paid. Just so because he's the pick, we yes, it is half off. Saves you over 50 bucks. That's stuff you put towards his food and his beds and his toys and all that kind of stuff. ID number 197393. This is our darling, darling Tiger. This is a big, beautiful dog. I can't even believe this dog is still here. Really? He's border collar, collie and something, Labrador. He's a good boy. Uh, he, he's a good fetch player. He's easy, pretty easy to walk on the leash. Half of his adoption fee is paid, too. We have a lot of dogs down here with some money on them to help you out with your adoption. He's just a really, really nice guy. Max's ID number is 209-230. This is Angus. His owners were sad to turn him in. He's a really nice dog. He does, he does well with most of our dogs down here. He knows sit. He knows shake. He's good with kids. He's just an all-around sweet guy who's also very house trained. His ID number is 958150. This is Handsome Angus. This is a little handsome guy. We really like him down here. Um, his name is Chop. And uh, he plays with our girl dog dogs down here. He's very agile. He's re really active. So if you're looking for a running partner or a hiking partner or a biking partner, he would be great. And he's certainly happy enough with that wagging tail. He's very happy. He also knows sit, shake, and roll over. Whoa. I have never been able to talk <laughs> to teach a dog roll over. That says more and about me like than the dog. And looks like Down's one of his and down. skills you know, as down. well. ID number 209642. This is Chop. This is a very handsome dog whose family had to turn him in because they had a housing issue and couldn't find a home that would take him, which is really, really sad. Uh, he's a nice dog, crate trained, house trained, likes to travel in the car. He knows basic obedience. Um, he like, loves walks. He does some digging and chewing, but he's still a pretty young dog. He's only about two, so, you know, you got to have those chew toys for him. He should go to a home without cats. Loki's not so hot with cats. He is handsome, and he is sweet. His ID number is 204977. <laughs> Come on. Someone's got to feel sorry for a one-eyed dog. The poor guy. Boris is a really nice dog. He's affectionate and sweet. He just has a really nice temperament. Um, he needs to find a nice home. People who will be just really good to him. That's it, Deborah. He doesn't need your pity. He needs to get out of here. He absolutely does. And to help him with that, half of his adoption fee has been paid. So that would save you over $50 on your adoption of this dog. Yay, Boris. Yay, Boris. So show him that good eye, Boris, and tell him you come get me. Best foot forward. Let's go. 209-131. Big, handsome Boris. Everybody loves Lucy. This is a really good dog. Um, she was actually adopted, and the only issue was she was just she's super active, and she was a bit too much for the, the dog that they already had. But she does very well with other dogs. Um, probably she might be, well, she could go to a house with kids probably, but she's really rowdy. She needs some training, but her temperament is very sweet. She would do best in a home that is active. You know, Lucy ought to go with someone who runs, walks long distances, uh, hikes, bikes, any of that kind of stuff, because she does have a ton of energy. But she knows basic obedience. She's house trained. She likes to play fetch. That helps with the exercise that she needs. She likes to run. Um, you know, she's just, she's not bad. She's just kind of rough for small 
animals and possibly small children. I saw her run this morning. She's poetry in motion. She is like lightning in the running department. She she really is, and she's awfully good with other dogs, especially with males, but she has some, some female friends too. Lucy's ID number is 206-263. Bear is a few things. One of the things he is is large. Um, he's really sweet. He, he's blue-eyed. <laughs> he's blue-eyed. He's very strong. Um, we, we really like this guy. He was picked up as a stray in Los Osos. Um, and it was after the thunder that we had not too long ago. So somebody should be looking for this very nice dog. Uh, but maybe he'll fit into your life. He's a really nice guy. His ID number is 209-936-Big Honkin' Bear. This guy will get you noticed. Everyone will notice you. He also has pretty blue eyes. Well, this is the third of the three amigos that we've been seeing throughout the show today. This is sweet, sweet little Libby. She's only about a year old, so she's just a baby. So scared when she got here last week. She is just like uh, the, the boys she came in with. She is a lap dog extraordinaire and just coming around, isn't so scared anymore, but just a super, super sweet dog. ID number 209-868. This is darling, darling little Libby. Oh, this is poor Macy. She was so terrified when she first got here. You couldn't get her up off of her bed. But she's coming around. She's learning that people are okay, that the world is okay, and she's improved immeasurably. You see, Deborah, this is what the volunteers do. They bring these dogs around from absolutely scared, won't get off their bed or come out from under their bed, to lovable, adoptable animals. We always need more volunteers. So if you've got a New Year's resolution which says, let me help a dog now and again, We've got a project for you down here. We have job openings for volunteers. We always do. It's extremely rewarding. Macy's ID number is 209810. Isn't she pretty? Terry, I cannot believe this dog is still with us. She has been with us since October 29th. I can't believe it. She's such a good girl. She's good with other dogs. She is super sweet. She's house trained. Um, she's just got the sweetest, most lovely temperament. She's about four years old, so good age, you know. She's a talker. She's trying to say, get me out of here. Get me out of put here. Put my time in. Her, uh, half of her adoption fee is paid as well. So, you know, that's going to save you more than $50 on adopting her. And she's a fabulous dog. We got to get her out of here. So some good dog owners out there, come and meet Meg. She's a sweet, sweet angel. Her ID number is 208-882. All right. All of you guys out there that like the this, this somewhat senior dogs, this dog is the sweetest little angel. She's about 12 years old. Her name is Molly. Half of her adoption fee is paid. This little doll needs to find a sweet home to live out the rest of her years. She's just, I, what She's do you say? She's a volunteer favorite, Deborah. Everybody loves her. What do you say about a dog like this? She's just sweet. She's affectionate. She, I'm sure, cannot believe she's ended up down here. Uh, just a little doll. Come on, give give a senior dog. I've adopted a senior senior dog, and it feels it's just the nicest thing to do. It makes you feel great. Makes the dog feel great. Just an all-around wonderful thing. Her ID number is 045560. She will crack you up and make you laugh every single day, I promise. Molly. We just wanted you to see why we call these guys the three amigos. They are lap dogs extraordinaire, and they are fine with sharing a lap as well. So what you have going on there is Emery, Libby, and Willie in that order. Um, small not quite as small and super small just really sweet really funny lovely little dogs and they'll stay on your lap as a threesome forever they're not going anywhere they're not going anywhere they're hilarious actually so Adorable take one dog. two or three that's the recommendation absolutely so come on down to animal services everybody and adopt yourself a cat or a dog make your life better live longer they say if you live longer if you have a pet who doesn't want to do that come get one or three 
Cats, 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 and more cats. We're looking right now at Donald. He is a gorgeous, handsome, buff cat, just about three years old. His ID number is 209295. Donald wants out, as you could see. His ID number again, 209295. And guess what? He's got half his adoption fee paid. That's right. That means that if you come here and fall in love with him, you only have to pay half the adoption fee, which is 40 bucks. You keep the other 40 in your pocket. Consider Donald, ID number 209295. This is Ebony, just taking a little snooze here. Not much to do with the shelter. In these small cages, these cats have to stay day after day. So consider adopting Ebony. Ebony comes with a black cat rebate. That's right, $25 back to you if you adopt Ebony. Such a bargain. Ebony's ID, ID number, 209755. He's just about two years old. Ebony, 209755. And now for your viewing pleasure, we have Salem. Yes, Salem just so happens to be our volunteer pick of the month. What does that mean to you? Half his adoption fee is paid. Yes, that's right. The volunteers got together and decided of all the cats that are here, he's the one they'd most like to take home. So Salem's the volunteer pick. He is a senior. He really, really, re really needs out. This is no place for any animal, especially a senior. So consider Salem. ID number 209668. Salem. Next up, we've got Bert, and half of his adoption fee is paid. This is really a bargain here, down here, for our cats. Bert is only a year old. His ID number, 208914. He's a great cat, loves to be petted, and I think you'll agree that he is a very interestingly marked cat. Consider Bert, ID number, 208914. Here is a beautiful tabby on white. This is Oliver. He's just about four years old and a real doll. His ID number is 209916. And guess what? Oliver has half his adoption fee paid. That's right. So if you like the looks of him, and I'm telling you he's sweet, come down and meet him and it's only half price. $40 for the adoption. 209916. Oliver. Hello, Mr. Gray. You cat lovers out there that love the gray cat, Mr. Gray is the one for you. He has those gorgeous green eyes that the gray cats have. He is ID number 209979. He's just about two years old, and he's a love. ID number 209979, Mr. Gray. Well, this is one of the prettiest cats here. This is just a six-month-old, and her name is Mittens. She's a doll, long-haired as you can see. ID number 209331, Mittens. Rain is looking right at you. She wants you to come down here and meet her. She is a little doll. She's just six months old. She's a kitten. Her ID number 209760 and a very nicely striped classic tabby. ID number 209760, Little Rain. Well, we've got a wonderful uh, Siamese, who will be a wonderful Siamese as soon as we bring her around. Seal Point, as you can see, she is terrified. Not a nice place to wind up down here at the shelter. As you can see, these very small spaces these cats have to live in, and what has happened to me anyway, they're saying to themselves. And that's the condition we've got here with little Tofu. She's a very pretty one-year-old. ID number 209758, and if you want to come down here and volunteer with us, this is exactly what we need people to do. Take these cats out of their cages, put them on your lap, and groom them, pet them, talk to them. They come around so quickly you wouldn't believe it. It's great for them and great for you. Consider volunteering. If you'd like to, call the volunteer line, 781-4413, leave your name and number, and we'll call you back and tell you about volunteering down here. For now, consider Tofu. Get her out of here, 209758. Here's another pretty tabby. She's also so scared. This is Little Blossom. She's just about five months old, and her ID number is 209786. Once again, getting hands on these cats makes them so much more adoptable. So please consider volunteering or adopting Blossom, 209786. 
Say hi to Cupid. Here we have a black cat with just a little splash of white on his chest. Cupid is a senior. He just like a place to retire. You know the type of thing where they can just roll around in the sun and have a nap in the afternoon. The good life. Can you give that to Cupid? ID number 209902. And wait a minute, C Cupid has half his adoption fee paid. So if you adopt him, you only have to pay half of his fee. The other half has already been paid. ID number 209902. Cupid needs a place to retire. Well, this sweetheart is the hands-down favorite of the staff here. They just love little Tassa. She is two years old, and she is very petite. She is fully grown here. Her ID number is 209956, and I think she's beautifully marked with that little splash of black on her toe. You don't usually see that. Tassa is a doll. Her ID number, 209956. Staff favorite. I mean, look at this face. Yes, he says, look at this face. This is Bubby, and he is great. This is a Maine Coon type. If you like that kind of big cat like I do, you're going to love Bubby. He's just about five years old, and his ID number is 209829. This is a cat who knows who he is, if you know what I mean. He's also got half his adoption fee paid. That's right. Someone couldn't adopt them him themselves and wanted to speed up his adoption, so put half his adoption fee down. So that's good for you. So if you're a Maine Coon fan, come on down here and check out Bubby. I think you're going to love him. 209829. Okay, you Siamese cat lovers, you've got Ming here. She is just about one year old, a seal point, Siamese, and ID number 209759. So if you are a fan of the Siamese, Ming could be the one for you. 209759.